Hugo, not the result we wanted at all tonight, was it? But what are your thoughts after that one? It's one of those nights where it feels like uh, everything that could go wrong uh, has gone wrong, both in terms of uh, you know, the goals that we conceded and the knocks that we've picked up. And uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those. But at the same time, credit to Fylde, I thought they, they played very, very well tonight. There's a reason why they're one of the former teams in the league. And, um, you know, no one can argue they deserve to win the game. But listen, we'll lick our wounds. Um, we'll be back into training Thursday and then we'll go again Saturday. That is something we discussed before the game. Obviously, they, they found themselves right up at the top of the form table. They weren't going to be an easy side to beat, were they? And I think they did show that in parts today, didn't they? Definitely. Yeah, like I said, Fylde have, have um, picked up their form lately. The, the team's changed a lot since we played the murder of the yeah. season. Obviously, we know about that. And uh, to be fair to, to Chris, their manager, he's filled the team with some, some youngsters that uh, were run all night and they pressed well. And, uh, you know, credit to them. But like I said, you know, we have to do better. Uh, from our point of view. Um, so, yeah, we've just got to take our medicine. It's one of those tonight for us. We certainly created a lot of chances. I think I think we were definitely unlucky to not have scored a goal today. I mean, we've hit the bar. I mean, it, after 30 seconds, we could have scored. That would have been a yeah, different game, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, listen, it's, you know, all lifts, buts and maybes, isn't it? You know, the ball didn't go in the back of the net for us tonight. That doesn't happen very often, you know, so... Um, like I said, you know, we've got to lick our wounds and move on. One thing I will say is, you know, I've, I've got to tip, if I was wearing a hat, I'd tip it to the crowd. They stayed with us. I think they appreciate that we, uh, that was maybe a little bit of an off night for us. And like we have said all along, well, not all along, but certainly recently, it is going to be a little bit of a roller coaster. Sometimes we're going to be brilliant, other nights not so. And uh, unfortunately, tonight was one of the not so's. We saw a few changes in the lineup from the last game. Obviously, it was a while since that one. So, has there been a few little knocks or niggles? To no, we uh, not, not necessarily. No, I mean, there's Tyler Frost was um, it hasn't been feeling particularly very well today. Other than that, it's you know we've got a strong squad and everyone deserves to play a game. But people have trained very very well lately. Uh, sometimes, you know, um, you, you think about the combinations that you want to play because of who the opposition is and how you think you can hurt them. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that, that won't change from game to game. We've got a really, really good squad here. Regardless of, of what happens tonight, we have got a good squad here. We've got good players. And uh, so we just keep working hard. One of those changes, Josh Barrett, obviously, we've all been itching to see what he can do. Yeah, and then obviously yeah. he's had to come off. Yeah, I, felt, listen, I feel sorry for, for, for JB because I felt all the, while he was on the pitch, all of our good forward play, particularly when we got to their final third, all come through through Josh, you know, so um, he just felt a little something in his calf, but I, I've got a feeling it's not too serious, so hopefully, you know, he'll be, he'll be back on the training pitch before long. Back to it, obviously, on Saturday, just business as usual, wasn't it? It's something we've said all season, you know, you win the wins and you lose the loses and you and you move on and, and we just think positively ahead of this one. Well, on we Saturday. have to, you know, I mean, we're... You know, you've got 14 league games left. Anything can happen. Like like Tom has said as well, and I've just said it again. It's, it is going to be a roller coaster. You know, this is, you know there is a trade off in, in the way that we play. Altringham are another very good side, and I think they're one of the best sides in the division um, from what I've seen. And they don't change much in terms of the personnel, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that it should be a good game of football. On the, on the telly on, on Saturday night. so uh, But we've got a little bit of work to do between now and then. We'll lick our wounds overnight and we'll, we'll get back at it tomorrow.